Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Adventures. And today, it's looking very, very grey and cloudy. It's got very, very fine rain coming down. Wasn't forecast. But I'm still going to be magnet fishing. Now, I've come to a spot that I can just stand at the side of a wall um, and we've got a bit of an area uh, that we can fish and we're down um, right side area Sheffield on the River Don hope you're all well to all my subscribers new and old welcome I really appreciate you all and uh, let's show you where I am so Gavin's down there he's uh, just attempting to magnet fish we've got this weir uh, outer city treasure island here the water is very shallow it is as you can see very rocky in there there is litter but there is a lot of water starting to come down this weir as the, the rain includes debris there's always going to be stuff nearer weir but yes, there is a lot of water coming down um, and it has forecast a week of rain as well from tonight so water levels are going to start increasing that island hopefully will sink and the vegetation will be washed away so that there'll be some mudlarking in Sheffield late October time now down here Gavin's uh, got a push bike what's washed over. I do believe he just hit it. Yep, he just hit it there and it's come off. But nevertheless, he's still going to keep trying. He's still going to try for it if he can. So uh, apparently he's just shouted across, it's an aluminium frame. The only bit that's on that, what's iron, is going to be where the pedals are. Um, we haven't got a grapple hook with us today, so we might not be able to recover it. Um, we have got an acid down here. This is all steel pilling along the wall, just there. Uh, and we are quite high up. But as you can see, we've got a lot of fast water flow from the side. But I'm going to do a bit along here where I am. Just try and get something out that I can. Back with you soon, folks. So there's the famous barra, what the cannons were on. Uh, it's had some repairs done since then. All we've had out of 10 casts at this location is this one piece of bar. Now we have fished, or Gavin has fished here before, but unfortunately, this spot, there's very, very little. Um, very, very good on the environment. It shows he did a good job last time. Um, We've not actually fished anywhere in front of that weir because there's no access. But it's trying down this side now, uh, the other side of the actual metal beam. You can see, folks, how foggy Sheffield is. You could normally see all the way over Winkerbank Hill, that area. And on that cast, he's got nothing again. Right folks, so between us we've had 40 casts, we've got a piece of angle iron, another small bar, this piece of rebar, and this here which is a window latch fitting. And that's it so far. Quite modern, uh, probably 1980s. But that's what that is, it's a window latch fitting. So, Gavin's here, 
he's fished all the way up there not a lot I'd moved down a bit I've not got a lot but we had a couple of pieces so we've got a couple of fence spikes down there we've got this big eye beam and a couple of bolts just add this out it's a bracket fitting from an industrial sink uh, that's going to be 1900 to 1940 and it's just held an industrial sink or fitting and we had this stone out with this piece of metal on as well and a few bits of a loosened shale so this is the area we've just fished in all the scraps loaded up uh, we're going to move down this way a bit and do a bit more fishing down there there's just nothing left at this spot now that we can physically get so we'll try further down I'm happy to see that this section of water is nice and clean so I've just seen that somebody has left a can I'm not having that on the floor so I'll crush it and it's going with me and uh, we had this big long bar out as well scaffolding pole so I'm going to be walking that down all the way up there as well obviously Gavin's gone down there um, but yes I will actually pick up the litter so other bits that we've had we've had this fork truck wheel uh, we've had bike handlebars there another one of these fence pins with some plastic I'm happy about that um, we just had these iron brackets that would have held insulators and electrical fittings general fuel bars and this piece down here that's just a piece of cast iron pipe that's shattered um, so that, that's what we've had there and then this is the rest of the stuff all packed up um, Gavin's got a, a small bucket of mixed fragments as well but not a lot so we've moved down we're going to try this area now and we're right in front of the Sheffield Forge Masters uh, so we'll see what we get here so Gavin's on the edge of the slope um, he's got a throw out over a ledge down there that's 7 foot to 10 foot from down there plus this wall and the railing far too far for me to throw out uh, and lift it up and pull it um, it's just going to get pulled off on this actual plants and trees at the bottom so unfortunately I can't fish this particular spot and it, it's very high um, we are currently about 15 meters up 20 meters uh, and I'm just glad that this railings here and this big wall but I'm not going to fish it um, it does actually affect my vertigo so I'm not going to bother uh, there is clear here where a bridge used to be so this could potentially be a good spot um, in the winter when there's no vegetation but from down here you can see all the flood debris from a few years ago and how high the waters actually came up so there will be stuff in that area there's where the bridge used to be still very cloudy the fog's lifted but yeah that's where we are at Sheffield Forge Masters um, it doesn't look like Gavin's got much down there he's had a couple of casts 
flat beam or something thrown on the side that keep getting stuck on it. Right, so he says there's a metal beam on the side that he keeps getting stuck on, folks. So, that's a no-go. Right, so we've brought all the scrap up here. We've just got the big pole to bring up now. And then uh, we're going to call the scrap man in nice and early. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. We've got that though, that, that's not a bad do. We are used to getting a lot more. It does show that it's getting a lot cleaner. That's really, really good for the environment. So that's a win for the environment and another area fully cleaned up. So until there's been a flood again down here, there won't be much more. So I'm very, very happy about that. Well, back home now, um, weather started to turn anyway, um, wasn't getting much. We got that bit that you saw, went to investigate a new area for next week. Um, we found another spot. So I'm glad to see that that area has been cleaned. Um, there may be a few little bits there, but not enough to say that it could be magnet fished for hours and hours which is how Sheffield used to be there's been a lot of people magnet fishing that particular city for a very long time at least since 2018 and it's a sure sign the city is most certainly getting a lot cleaner it looks a lot better there's nature coming back with the dragonflies and plenty more kingfishers in the area. There's even an otter that's been spotted in the waters down there as well. And uh, definitely the salmon and trout have started to make a comeback as well. Yep, it's, it's been hard work. Uh, I've been proud to clean that particular area. And for all my regular followers, you'll see just how much our team has actually done in that particular city as well over the last two years so it has to be said that we're actually running out of sites in the city and therefore we we'll go fish as much as we can until we no longer can get metal out in bulk and uh, if we go and we're not getting metal in at least 20, 30, 40 casts, then it shows that the environment has took a good turn and is very clean. Now, obviously, during the incoming floods, when they happen, there will be more metal brought down. Areas may even regenerate to how they used to be from metal being washed down in the floods. But whilst we're here, we'll keep trying and we'll do what we can. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks for watching everybody. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, comment. I always love to read what you put. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button as well. It really does help us get out to new places and... It really gives us that inspiration knowing that people see that the places are getting much cleaner. Right, thanks for watching everybody. Until next time, bye for now.